Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will explain about the pre-verbs that are showing uh, the direction of the verb and direction of the movement. In English, you may say I go up, I go down, I move towards, I come back or I leave, I exit. But in Georgian, we also do this just by changing the verb. If you have already watched the video where I'm explaining about the verb to go or to come, which is tasla or misla and mosla, then um, you already know that we have this preverb me to show from here to there and mo from there to here. And if you put this before the verb, then you show the direction. You also do this when you want to say I'm flying towards something, I'm running. Um, and it's not just two directions, but also you can say I'm going up on the mountain or I'm getting off the bus, I'm getting on the bus or whatever you want to say. And today uh, I will explain about a, uh, me, but you know already, mo, but you know already, I hope, then cha, she, ka and da. So if you're looking at the picture that is shown, you can see that this is um, just for third person, right? Like is, me, this. If we remove me from the verb, we just have this. And if you put a instead of me or instead of mo, like if you say a this, this means he is going up. Or if you want to say he is going, you say me this. If you say mo this, it means he is coming back. If you say cha this, it means he is going down. If you say she this, it means he is entering. If you say ka this, it means he is leaving. If you say da this, it means he is walking. So it was just very quick review of everything, but now I'm going to explain all in details. The first thing is that if you say, if you want to say I'm going up, you say avdivar. Me avdivar kibeze. I'm going up on the stairs. Me avdivar kibeze. You can do also like elevator. Me avdivar liptit. I'm going by elevator. Or me avdivarm taze. I'm going up on the mountain. Or I'm going up to my neighbor. Avdivar mezobeltan. If the neighbor is living upstairs. Or if you want to say I'm going down the stairs, you can say me chavdivar kibeze. Me chavdivar kibeze. Cha shows the direction from here to down. Me chavdivar kibeze, shen chadihar kibeze, it means you're going down the stairs. Is chadis kibeze, he is going down the stairs. Um, you can also say me chavdivar sopolshi, I'm going to my village. Uh, chavdivar, it's really weird because most of the villages are on the mountain or it's like the higher place. But if you want to say I'm going to my village, most of the time we use the preverb cha. Okay, um, I'm not conjugating them in every kind of form because if you know the conjugation in, of one of them, then you just change the beginning of the verb and that's it. If you want to say you are going by elevator, you say shen chadihar liptit. Shen chadihar liptit. Okay, I'm showing this because I want to remind you that if you want to show the way of transportation, you do this by putting it in the end of the word. For example, lipti, elevator, and by elevator you say liptit. Avtobusi, bus, but avtobusit means by bus. Kalami, uh, the pen, but kalmit means by pen, like you're writing the letter by pen. Shen tzer, tzerils kalmit. Okay, how do we say to get on the bus or to get of the bus? We say this by the prefix a that shows direction up. Okay, if you're getting on the bus, you say, for example, for a third person, it would be adis autobusi. We see a girl on the picture. We can say she's getting on the bus by saying is adis autobusi. She is getting on the bus. Adis autobusi. But in the picture, we see that they're leaving the bus, so they're getting off 
and we can say isini chadian avtobusidan isini chadian avtobusidan so to get on the uh, to get on the bus is said by the verb and then bus and then she she says in like in the bus autobus she but when you say get off you have to say from the bus doesn't matter it can be from the minivan it can be whatever you say but you say dan autobus dan okay what does dadis mean dadis is like midis or modis but da shows the ability to walk or that I do this kind of movement frequently. If I say Pavshvi Tadis, it means that a kid is able to walk. Pavshvi Tadis, before he or she could not, and now she or he can walk. Tadis. But also, it can mean um, that if I say Pavshvi Tadis Bakshi, it means that the kid goes to kindergarten. Pavshvi Tadis Bakshi. Kid goes to kindergarten. It's not that the kid went just once to visit someone. It shows that it happens maybe every day. Doesn't matter if it's every day or once in a while. If it has the frequency, then we say tadis or tavdivar. If I want to say I go to gym, I say tavdivar darbazshi. Me tavdivar darbazshi. If I want to say um, you are going to school, I say Shen Tadihar Skolashi. Shen Tadihar Skolashi. It's, um, you can also say Memi Vdivar Skolashi, of course, but in this case, it means that you are on your way to school, like you're going to school now, but if it happens usually once in a while, then you say Tavdivar Skolashi or Tavdivar Universitetshi. If I want to say I go to work or I go to office by taxi but it happens in general like that then I can say me tavdivar opisci taxit but if it's happening just now because it's raining and I cannot have a walk then I can say me mivdivar opisci taxit how do we say enter enter is by the preverb she here we see the man that is entering uh, probably the house, we can say any place, but okay, let's imagine that he's entering the house. We say that he is entering the house by Shedis Sakhlushi. Is Shedis Sakhlushi. If you want to say uh, that you're entering something, you're joining something, that something is included, this is what we say. For example, you book the hotel and you want to ask if the breakfast is included, you say by Sauzme shedis. Breakfast is included. Or you can ask like Sauzme shedis. Is the breakfast included? Or you have the package of the trip and you want to know if the hotel is also included. You can say Sast umro shedis. So included. Or let's imagine that Georgia is entering the EU. EU. You say that by saying Sakartolo shedis. It means that Georgia is entering the European Union or I hope, I don't know. <laughs> okay, and the next one is when you leave. Uh, leaving is by adding the preverb before the verb. Ka, ka, me, ka, divar, shen, ka, dihar, is, ka, dis. Here we see the boy is leaving the house, so we can say, pichi, ka, dis, sahli, dan. Bichi kadis sahli dan. We don't say kadis sahlshi, right? We because you have to say that he's living from the house. He's leaving the house. Kadis sahli dan. Um, if I want to say that I'm leaving the game, I can say kavdivar tamashi dan. Kavdivar tamashi dan. Okay, that's all of these verbs because um, of course there are other ones, but we don't have to do all of them together. Now let's see some examples that I wrote. And also, if you would like, then you can make your own examples and you can write in comments. I can check them. The first one is me avdivar avtobusshi. Me avdivar avtobusshi. I'm getting on the bus. Me 
ავდივარ ავტობუსში. შენ შედიხარ მაღაზიაში. შენ შედიხარ მაღაზიაში. You enter the store or you're entering the store. შენ შედიხარ მაღაზიაში. ის ჩადის ავტობუსიდან. ის ჩადის ავტობუსიდან. He gets off the bus. ჩვენ მოვდივართ სახლში. We are coming home. Okay, this is not today's lesson. It was already before, just um, to remind you how to say come back. Is tren movdivar tsakhlshi. We are coming home. The next one. Tkven gadikhart tamashidan. Tkven gadikhart tamashidan. You are exiting the game. And the last one is isini dadian skolashi. Isini Tatian Skolashi. They go to school. Okay, quick revision. In Jordan, we are showing direction of the verb by using different kind of preverbs. A shows up. Is Adis. She goes up. Cha shows down. Is Chadis. He goes down. She shows that you're entering the place. So, is Shedis. Is shedis he or she is entering? Gadis shows that you're leaving. Is gadis is gadis she is leaving, and da shows the frequency or the ability to walk. Is dadis is dadis she is walking or she goes in general. That's all for today. I hope it was useful for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you would like to learn Georgian language and also don't forget to leave the comments. See you in the next video. Nahuam desu!